Taking care of your machine is super simple, and if you take care of your machine, it will take care of you. Let's talk about how we're gonna get into the bobbin area because this is where all the length from your thread, your fabric, all will gather up after you start using it for a while. So first off, I'm gonna have you take your scissors, we're gonna go up to the spool of thread, clip the thread down, or up at the top, and pull the thread out the needle this way. Do you know why? Because if you go the other way, all the length that's gathered down here at your needle, it's gonna go right up your sewing machine and into areas you don't really want it gathering up. So if you get in the habit of releasing the thread and pulling it out your needle, that it will help keep your machine cleaner longer. So we're gonna go ahead and take out our bobbin. And go ahead and take your needle out. That's more just so you don't stab yourself while you're in here cleaning here. The machine manual will tell you to turn the machine off. I'm gonna leave it on because I like to actually see what I'm doing. Just don't step on your foot control. We're gonna take the foot off. That will just slide towards us. Next, we need to take our screwdriver. You kind of slide it straight up into the housing, kind of where the light is. That will help get it going. And then just go ahead and loosen that all the way up. Once it's pretty loose, I'll just use my fingers to kind of spin it the last little bit here. And we'll take the plate off. It's under here that will show, if you were working, say, on green fleece, it will be completely green in here. So we're gonna just lift that up, slide that to the side. All right, first thing that you're not gonna do if you have a lot of lint, this is a brand new machine, so I don't have anything here, but just don't blow into it. You'll see there's lots of crevices. Guess where it's gonna go? Into your machine further. You want to bring it on out. So that's why you actually have the brush from your accessory bag that you wanna brush everything towards you. Another thing that's great, there's those miniature vacuum attachments you can get at your sewing machine store and you attach it to any of your hose vacuums. That's gonna suck it out, that's excellent. And that means that canned air is a no-no. Do not use canned air in here because that will force it back into further places of the sewing machine and make matters actually worse. Yes, a lot will come out, but I, believe me, a lot goes in further than you realize. Next, we're gonna take out the bobbin case. Just reach into this is whole black area here. That will come right on up. And then this is where a lot of lint will also gather, kind of in this basket area. If you wanna see something really neat, watch this. You'll kind of see a really sharp piece. Of, uh, this is the hook. That's what actually took the thread from the needle and it brings it around the bobbin to make the stitch. But notice, it actually goes around one time and two times for every one stitch that you take. So that is rocking and rolling down here a lot. So we need to really make sure that things stay nice and clean. Now right down the middle is a little bit of a wick. Now in your manual, it does not talk about you oiling the machine. It just talks about you cleaning the machine. But you talk to any mechanic and they will tell you a little drop of oil down the middle of that. You'll actually have a little wick down there. Put some oil in that place and it will draw it to where it needs to go. And so that is actually, back to this bobbin case, you see this really large hole down in the middle? There's two holes, but one's larger. That sits directly over that wick that I just added oil to. So you have no excuse whatsoever to adding a little oil to your machine when you think about it. You know, I usually find myself cleaning the machine and giving a little drop of oil when I start to, well, when I break a thread. When I break a thread, I'm sewing along, it breaks, you've all been there it will um, usually just change the needle first. Change the needle, away you go, then you don't have to stop what you're doing. But towards the end of that project, you need to probably get in here and clean the lint out. So it can be one of two things. The needle's the easiest to change, that's why I do that first. But cleaning your machine on a regular basis, we're talking every three to five bobbins. Now, if you're thinking about how much sewing you do with three to five bobbins, you're gonna realize that is a lot. So get, definitely find yourself in here more often than you probably have on your previous machines. Now, to put this all back together, it is key you get two places lined up. First off, these kind of pointy ends, they go kind of towards the needle. Now, once this is in there correctly, I'm gonna to point to two things to look for. Number one, there's a arrow on this silver part, and there's an arrow on the black part of the bobbin case. Those need to point to each other. When those are lined up, you're probably also gonna see the second part that needs to line up. Right down here at the bottom, there's like a little heel, and that heel is gonna be on the left side of the spring, and that is properly positioned. And it has a little wiggle, that's perfect. There's so many times people get it in opposite of where that little spring is, and that is, uh, well, it just doesn't work. All right, so make sure you're on this side, you look at those arrows, look at the little spring, and after you've cleaned it all out, then you're ready to assemble. That is all you have to do for cleaning. It's really not a lot of work to do. I'm gonna take that screw. I'm gonna go ahead and once again, just kind of get most of it tightened with my fingers. 
and then finish it off with the screwdriver. You're probably wanting to put in a new needle at the this time because you've taken all this time to go ahead and get things cleaned and perfect. Might as well start off with a proper needle. What I'll have you do is put the foot on, put your bobbin in, and bring that all the way down to six o'clock. Notice sometimes I hold my finger on here, makes it so it doesn't spin, and easily clicks into the tension area down below. Needle goes in last. It's just easier because you can set the needle down into the foot and then bring it right up to where it needs to go into for tightening. Oh yeah, I tightened it when I took it out. Don't do that. Much harder to put it in once it's tightened. I'll loosen it, tighten it, make sure it goes all the way to the highest position. When I re-thread, I'm gonna use that needle threader and make sure that because the needle threader will work, that I've got that needle high enough into the machine. So re-thread, bring your bobbin thread up, sew on it. Sometimes uh, what you wanna do is just make sure there's no extra oil or anything on your threads. So on a white piece of fabric, you don't wanna have anything left over from cleaning it kind of pop up into that seam. So test it out, run it for a few stitches, on some scrap fabric and you'll be ready to go. And your machine is gonna love you. Let's talk how often you need to have a sewing machine repairman kind of go through it. We say once a year. So in a year, take it in, have it clean from top to bottom and then have it as a habit. So if you've got your sewing machine for a special occasion, you know when it's your machine's anniversary to go get its full spa treatment and it will love you forever. So take care of this every three to five bobbins once a year with your technician.